dear students let us learn about representing irrational numbers on the number line let us see how pythagoreans discovered irrational numbers according to pythagoras theorem in a right triangle square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides hypotenuse is the biggest side of the triangle here c is the hypotenuse and this pythagoras theorem is used to discover irrational numbers now let us represent irrational numbers on the number line first let us represent root 2 for that draw a line of unit length name it as ab it can be of any measurement now construct angle 90 degree at b Now draw the height of the right triangle which is equal to the base. Now draw arc from B. Now draw a perpendicular line to intersect the arc. So BC is the height of the right triangle. Angle B is 90 degree and AC is the hypotenuse of right triangle. AB and BC of same length take it as one unit. Now let us calculate the value of AC using Pythagoras theorem. According to Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So AC square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square. AC square is equal to 2. So AC will be square root of 2. So length of AC is root 2. Now to represent this on number line, you have to place this right triangle on the number line. For that, draw number line on the base. A, B. Take A as the origin of the number line. That is original of origin of the number line is 0. So A is 0. B will be 1. Next mark 2 and 3 they should be of equal distance gap should be equal so 2 and 3 now mark root 2 on the number line for that keep your compass at A and adjust its radius to AC and draw arc to intersect the number line. This is arc of radius root 2. So AD is equal to AC and point D is root 2. Now let us represent root 3. Now construct right triangle with base AC. For that draw 90 degree at C. Draw the height of unit length draw arc and this is height of unit length. C is the height of the right triangle ACE and CE is unit length and AE is the hypotenuse. CE is one unit. 
now let us calculate the length of ae using pythagoras theorem because ac is a right triangle so according to pythagoras theorem ae square is equal to ac square plus c square we don't know the value of ae so ae square is equal to root 2 square plus 1 square so ae square is equal to 2 plus 1 so a square is equal to 3 ae will be root 3 so length of ae is root 3 so now plot root 3 on the number line keep your compass at a and adjust its radius to ae and draw arc now this arc is of radius root 3 mark the point where the point where the number line intersect the arc that is f and point f is root 3 if you go on constructing like this with height equal to unit length you will get root 4 root 5 root 6 root 7 and so on and you will get a square root spiral this is called square root spiral now you learnt about irrational numbers and you know about rationals rational numbers and irrational numbers together called as real numbers so this is the real number system real numbers are represented by r and the number line is now called real number line because every real number represented by a unique point on the number line and every point on the number line represent a unique real number so the number line is called real number line